Hello, welcome back. So in the previous video, I showed you how to filter some data essentially based on numbers. So we looked at filtering the candidates according to the years of experience that they have or the minimum salary that they expect. So our column D and E. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to try to make it a little bit more interesting and filter according to specific text found in the cell as well. For instance, we will only want to select the candidates that have experienced in marketing. So you can see I have one, two, and three. Okay, so let's start by opening our script editor. To make it a little bit easier, I will also um, delete the parameters that we set in the past. So that was, uh, if you don't know what we are doing, you can watch our previous video. And I will replace it by the um, cell in which we have the industry. So remember it's stored, um, all the filter data is stored into an array and the first position in an array is referred to as zero. So the ID will be stored as the, in position zero, then one, two, three, four, and five. So we look into the fifth element in that array and we will use the match function. So dot match match method. Um, what the match method does is um, is going to return an array containing the match value. So whatever we put inside. Um, so let's say we're going to put marketing. Okay. Um, what we want to do now is to ensure that this array is not empty, meaning that the cells referring to the industry the candidate has worked in contains marketing. So what I need to do to make sure that this happens is to make sure that this array is not empty. It's not null. Okay. So let's have a look at uh, the results now. So you can see I locked the filter data. I just save it. I run it. And in the log, we find one, two, and three candidates that are experiencing marketing, all right? Um, just like what we counted initially. What happens though, is that a lot of the time, the data that you have in your, um, in your database or in your spreadsheet is actually not yours, but maybe it's entered by the users. Uh, and what they do is that one might type marketing with a capital letter, but others might just type marketing like that. That will generate an issue because the match method is case sensitive. So let's have a look at what happens. I will run it again. And you can see that it only returns two records. So I only have two. Um, the record that uh, when marketing is written in lowercase um, didn't come back. So um, there's a little bit of a, of a trick um, to solve that issue. Uh, and that's by using the method called to lowercase. So let's try and we will type item five dot to lowercase dot match. And then because um, what this is going to do, um, it will change the string in the cell um, in, in the cell in the industry cell to lowercase. So what I need to search for is not marketing with a capital letter, but in lowercase as well. Let's save it, run it, and see what's in our log. You can see that we now have um, three records. So we have uh, the two records with marketing as a capital letter and the one with the um, lowercase as well. So um, of course, what happens is that you don't know, you don't want to have to type um, you know marketing or sales or uh, whatever you're looking for every time, but you can also reference to a specific um, to specific cell, right? So we know that if we look at our search sheet, I have a cell where the industry that uh, um, is a, is a pre uh, requirement for that job is listed. So that's the cell six, um, C6, right? So let's change marketing now to reference to a specific cell. So first of all, I need to declare the sheet, um, 
the search sheet. So you can see I have it here. I declared search sheet as um, um, using the get sheet by name uh, search within the spreadsheet. Okay. So what I do now in the match, I will just use search sheet dot um, and we will use get range. Okay. And we said that it's in the cell C6. So the row is six and the column is three. I just need to get the value as well. And let's see what comes. Let's run the script. And you can see that we find our three um, candidates. Okay, let's change it just to have a look. Um, let's just type banking. Okay, so you can see we have one candidate with experience in banking. Let's see if it's returned. All right, so we have our character with um, our candidate with uh, banking experience. Okay. Great, so now we've seen how to filter data, both um, strings, text, and numbers according to specific parameters. In the next video, I'll show you what to do with this data. Um, I'll show you how to essentially paste it into that sheet because it's great to have stored it, but now we need to um, we need to display it as well, okay? So subscribe if you wanna see the next uh, video or to be notified when it's released and thank you.